I teach our research methods uh, course uh, and biological psychology based on my training in neuroscience, which means I look at how um, our physi physiological processes, whether that's genes, whether it's hormones, and how that interacts with the environment or nurture um, to influence how we behave and how we think. So that's in the classroom. Then there's the research part. I am a researcher. I do have active research lab uh, and uh, students work with me. And a lot of the experiences in neuroscience, because we don't have a specific neuroscience major, but students get a lot of neuroscience experience here, is we go into the lab and we model um, various behavioral and um, biological processes. The students take away that um, we're not that different from um, our animal companions. You know, we share similar chemicals in our bodies that serve similar functions. One of the things I find my students sometimes struggle with is the mathematical concepts. They think that they can't do math and they're, they're psychology majors and you know, they sometimes forget that psychology is a science and it does involve a lot of computational um, analysis. And what's really interesting is how hard um, these students really work at it and, and they get it. They come in thinking they can't get it, but in the end they do and they do well in the courses.